Hey house guests, welcome to today's Big Brother Canada 7 updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Kelly O'Grady. Kelly, thank you so much for the support. We really appreciate it and could not do this without you. So thanks again. And if you guys want to be house guests of the day, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. All right. Excuse me. So when we left off yesterday, the pretty boys had come up with their plan for the week. It's just boring, okay? It's boring because they're just steamrolling. It's so sad. So Adam is saying he's going to nominate Damien and Esty. He's going to pretend like Mark is the backdoor target, but he's not. Damien is the target this week. Um, so if the pretty boys win the veto, they're going to leave nominations the same. And if the veto is used, Kira will be going up, which is going to be um, pretty much a giveaway if... Adam doesn't put Mark up, right? But anyway, everybody seems to be falling for the plan so far. Ugh, I guess ideally, the pretty boys would like for Mark to win the veto and not use it. Alright, so here we go. They had the nomination ceremony as planned. Adam put up Damien and Esty. And that was that. So then after that was done, uh, the house guests were getting ready for this like BB sanctioned party. <laughs> I like to make the distinction because there's like those times when they're like we're gonna have a prom and they like set up their own thing and then there's the parties that they like win from doing a task or whatever. So this one um, was from yesterday's task for Dean. It was Marshall the Moose and he had to do all these nasty things with his fake teeth like put it in Kira's tea and like pretend to bake it into some cookies. He got Esty to put them in her mouth. Ugh! Okay. But anyway, that earned them a party, so they were all getting ready for that. And in the meantime, Mark and Anthony had an interesting strategy chat here. So Mark asks him, if you win the power veto, you're not going to use it, right? And Anthony's like, uh, ooh, would he? I don't know, would he? I don't think he's close enough to either of the nominees that he would use it. But I feel like he may have told Esty that he would use it on her. Isn't that something that happened? I feel like I remember him saying that. Um, but Mark is worried that Dane is in too deep with Esty and he would want to use the veto on her. And then if he did, Adam would have to choose a replacement and it'd be super weird if he didn't put up Mark after he went around all week saying that Mark is his target. That would kind of be a giveaway, right? Um, so he's a little bit worried about that, and he also feels that Dane probably wants to go to the final five with the four boys and Esty, which is not what they originally planned. They were saying they were going to go to the end with Kira because they feel like they would be the easiest one to beat in those final competitions. So Mark's like, whatever, I mean, we can beat Esty and then we'll all go to the final four like we planned. But he definitely seems nervous that that's not how it's going to go down. He's afraid that if they go to the end with Esty, the Dane will pull out some comp wins, which is definitely possible because he's won quite a few so far. And maybe he'll just take ST to the final two and dump the rest of the guys. Who knows? So anyway, Adam and Dane join them. And Adam is asking Dane, will you use the power veto if you win it? And Dane's like, do you want me to? Adam says, no, he does not. Because then he's going to have to pick a replacement. It's going to be between... Uh, Kira and Mark, and uh, it's going to look pretty stupid, again, if he does not put up Mark. So he does not want to be put in that position. Probably shouldn't have won HOH this week, huh? So Dane is like, all right, well, if you don't want me to use it, then don't pick me for power veto <laughs> if you get house guest choice. He's worried how it's going to look if he doesn't save SD if he wins the POV. There goes another jury vote, right? You really got to start thinking about your jury votes here. So then the feeds went down for a bit uh, for the party. But this was not one of the big blowouts of BB Can yesteryear. They used to have these parties where the feeds would be blocked out the entire night because we weren't allowed to see the crazy shenanigans that they were getting up to, which always sounded epic. Um, the house guests honestly seemed underwhelmed when the feeds came back. They are like, we got dressed up for this. I guess it was just food and some drinks. They were expecting a bit more, especially in the booze category. Yeah, so, I mean, be grateful, guys. No, I'm sure it was fine. Um, I guess it just wasn't exactly what they were expecting. So then, 
Kira was whining to Adam in the HOH room after the party. Kira was just not in a good mood last night. Kira's like, these people don't like me. I felt like I could really be myself with Sam. It was comfortable. And now I don't feel like I really, you know, get along with any of these people and none of these other people understand me. So, of course, pull out the Sam card when you're talking to Adam, right? So Kira's like, I'm ready to go. You know, don't get me wrong. I'm grateful to be here, but I miss my people at home. And Adam's like, it's only, there's only 20 more days left. You're not alone. Think about somebody like Sam who would love to be here. Uh, and you're, you're saying that you want to go home. And Kira's like, uh, I don't want to go home. So then, a little later, uh, a bunch of the house, oh, this is just, it's going to make it even worse. A bunch of the house guests were like reminiscing and like having a good time. And then they start laughing about Kira and Anthony's argument from just the day before. They're just, you know, LOLing, saying it was good TV, it was a lot of fun. Kira's not feeling this, so Kira leaves the room upset. So then, um, Kira is talking to the cameras in the storage room, and they say, you know, I'm upset that everyone seems to be cool with Anthony now, and they're laughing about this when it only happened yesterday. He's lying, he's making me look like an effing a-hole. You know, the retell of this argument is not accurate, they're all laughing about it. He effing attacked me and was condescending. I don't know about him attacking them, but I will say Anthony seemed condescending in that argument for sure. But Kira's like, what, now I have to act like I like these people? I'm just not built for this. Ooh. So Kira says, I'm ashamed of how I'm playing and how weak I seem to be. That's so sad. So then Kira starts whispering to the cameras about the state of their game. And Kira's like, you know what? I'm actually in a really good position, maybe one of the best in the house. I was the third wheel in the showmance, and now uh, Sam, on her way out, told Adam to fight for me and to protect me, and he's not gonna go against Sam's wishes. He's like in love with her. So it's funny that Kira would say that because Adam plans to put Kira up if the veto is used as a pawn, but still, like, Kira could potentially be in danger there. Um, but then Kira's like, you know what, I would be in trouble if someone targets Adam because I would probably go up on the block with him because I'm so closely associated with him, I would be a vote for him to stay, blah 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 blah. Right, okay. Um, but Kira feels pretty good about where they stand in the game. So then Kira's saying, Anthony's gotta go. He's got way too much sway in this house. People view him as a weak player, he's done crappy in challenges, just like Kira. Um, so... Kira does not want two, like, weak players in the house because Kira is hoping to pretty much be dragged to the end for being weak. And if Anthony is another option for that, mm, -mm. So he's got to go. All right, so then uh, a little while later, after stewing for a while, um, Essie goes and apologizes to Kira for laughing about the fight. Then Kira's like, yo, it was too soon. This just happened yesterday. Uh, it felt like you guys were validating what Anthony was saying and that, like, nobody likes me. So then, uh, after that, Anthony was like, hey, uh, can I talk to Kira? So he tries to smooth things over with them. And Kira, again, is like, too soon, man. I'm just so tired. I'm done. I'll just self-evict. I hate when people say that. Oh, my God. It's just, it feels like when somebody says that, they're just, like, looking for attention. It's just too much. So, Anthony's like, there's no need for that, we all chirp each other, and Kira's like, it wasn't just chirping, it was next level. Anthony says, no one was making fun of you, they were laughing at me, uh, you gotta be strong, you're not alone, blah blah blah. I'm sorry, but it just, it felt like BS to me. Um, I'm sure they're fine on a personal level, but I think there was some game involved here. Anthony trying to really smooth things over with Kira, and of course Kira was crying, and Anthony was trying to comfort them. So then this morning, ooh, the cracks in the pretty boys deepen. Anthony and Dane were chatting in the have not room and they're really pissed at Adam. Um, I mean, we've seen this a lot from Anthony. He's talked a lot of crap about Adam, but now Dane is joining in as well, which is interesting because I kind of feel like the pretty boys are split pretty much down the even, right? <laughs> 
evenly, you know, down the middle. You've got Anthony and Mark on one side, and then I thought Dane was definitely closer to Adam, but now he's he's talking some crap about Adam. Um, they're pissed that Adam is jeopardizing their jury votes right now because they're, he's telling them you gotta throw this veto competition or else I'm gonna have to make a move here and it's gonna mess up my game. So then they're like, yeah, but I kind of want to win and like get brownie points with SD. So they're like, should I throw this or what? Or should we win it, one of us win it, and force Adam to do something? Dane is like, I almost really want to win that veto, use it on SD. And he said, see what Dum Dum would do. Ooh! Because, um, I mean, he'd have, to, he'd have to pick between Kira and Mark who's going to go up because he's not going to put up. Dane or Anthony. No way. Um, but Mark is definitely an option. And then, if it even went further and he did put up Mark, because he had to keep up with the storyline, he's going to look even worse if he has to break a tie to keep Mark. Um, so yeah, they're pissed that he even won this HOH in the first week instead of throwing it to Anthony, which was an option. That's what they were hoping would happen, but... It didn't. So the power veto competition is today, and I think everyone is playing except for Adam because he's the HOH, and I think Anthony is the lone other player that will not be participating. So it should be interesting. I don't know. Is Mark going to be able to pull out this win? Is Dane going to win and wreak some havoc? Or will it be someone new? <laughs> we'll see. So let me know what you guys think in the comments, and until tomorrow, much love.